Hi, I'm Tamara and welcome to my channel Tam e Nazad about my expat life in Warsaw. Today is Sunday and what time is it? It is time for some football. Today is a game a day. We went to a yeah. few <laughs> game time, game time. We went to a few games last year, so I'm excited that we'll get to do this again this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is that they're playing very close to our place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that because then we could walk to the stadium and uh, get there and see what's going on. This one is a derby, and mm. this, so this will be. Warsaw Eagles, Eagles and Warsaw Mets. So your favorite team is? I'll have to go with the Mets. Uh, you know because that was one of my students' uh, team. Mm -hmm. She was really involved with the organization of the Mets. So I, I like that. And I have the gear, I have the jersey, the swag from. Uh, and I'll wear that today for the games. But yeah, my first game that I went to here, I saw the Eagles play. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it was a lot of fun, and, and so I continue to go because I love football. And then the Warsaw Mets team came mm -hmm. out, and they really did a great job. The organization was really professional. I went to some marketing events with them. Uh, they had a Super Bowl party, <laughs> and that was fun at Champions, and uh, mm -hmm. that was awesome, a watch party of the American Super Bowl and then that was so that was live during the Super Bowl finals? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, we watched the American Super Bowl. It was late night and uh, so, yeah. it was really cool. They had a, a really nice setup in the uh, Champions mm -hmm. uh, sports bar and, and then they did a lot of things to introduce the team and uh, they had uh, interviews with the players and yeah, so it was fun. I had a good time mm -hmm. with that. And then the season started, and the season was amazing. They really had a, a great job. They did a lot of things with the embassy and, and the military, the U.S. military mm -hmm. here. And uh, the, the fans were, were supporting it. All right. All right. Look at Gronk. He looks like a good Polish boy, right? Just a little warm-up before the game. So Rob, this is a photo from Mother's Day with his mom, and her, she wrote a book because her story is pretty interesting. She raised five boys that are all professional athletes. A couple of them play baseball, and then Gronk is famous and plays uh, football. And they uh, were, grew up in Buffalo. So I lived in Buffalo. Oh, look, Sarah Palin liked her. Sarah Palin is the governor of Alaska. Mm. She was the governor of Alaska, and she was also uh, running as vice president for in the U.S. So, yeah, cool. So, yeah, his social media, what, how many followers does Gronk have? 4.8 million. People love him. <laughs> so he's a tight end, that position is a offense position and they can score uh, he they usually run and catch the ball but they run with the ball as well too the tight ends can run with the ball all right I'm going to the Warsaw Mets Instagram get our tickets oh look at that the stadium mm, it's game day Action with the boys cheerleaders. Oh yeah. Time to play some football. Mm. Okay. Go girls. Game time! Oh, my neighborhood! The stadium's right nearby. All right. Today's game day. 
and it's always fun to tailgate. That's what we always did in the United States before a game. You have your tailgate food, some chicken. You do a lot of things on the grill. Let's make some chicken and we'll have that before the game. All right, time to spice it up. I'm gonna mix it around. So I always end up putting a little bit more cayenne. Throw the cayenne around in there. Okay, let's mix it around with it. See how much we got. Also, like to use burka tarta. Burka tarta. I think I said that right. Vegeta, okay, just a little bit because I find that this is a little bit salty, but it does have that salt kick that brings out the flavor when I'm cooking. Now we are gonna make some ribs for the game. Just big old slab of meat out of here. So it's already sort of pre-cooked and it's already been seasoned a little bit, but I like to add just a little bit more. And there are so many different styles of barbecue sauce. Uh, I have some Korean barbecue, which is pretty tasty. Uh, I'm gonna use the last of this. Let's pour a little on each one. Let's use the one that they gave us from the packet. I think I will use a little bit of something spicy, this tobacco. And this side, so one side's gonna have a little extra kick. Just gonna wrap this up. I leave it a little air so that some steam can come off. And it is ready to go in the oven. And this is Tilko 25 minutes. Okay? 25 minutes. Mm hmm. And it is good to go. Okay, so we're gonna have some good stuff for the game. A little something to chew on. I don't know, I hope that the Mets can pull it off today. We need a win. All right, we are ready for the game. We got some grub to eat. Oh, this chicken looks so good. Okay, on my wings. That book top that I can see it. And here we go for our ribs. Oh, look at the smoke coming off. Oops, yep, it is falling off the bone. Look at that. I love it. Look at that. A little grilled meat feast for us. Perfect for game day. Yep. It is game day. Oh, I want to look back at some of my memories of football in America. I was actually a Buffalo Bills cheerleader for the team uh, and we were called the Buffalo Jills. This is my card that I used to autograph for the fans. This is my picture in my full uniform. This is the official uh, uniform photo. And we also did a calendar. So this was my calendar shot. We did that shoot in Puerto Rico. A lot of fun to go the, to Puerto Rico with the girls. And here's the whole squad, me and the girls. That's that's me right there. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I think that we were probably the most conservative team in the league. Look, our uniforms had the long sleeves, but we had the famous white boot. I had an amazing time with these girls. This is a special memory. This is my tennis coach, Kuba. He's Polish. And we went to a game together. His first game, he got to see the Buffalo Bills, look at me, wearing the gear, against the Miami Dolphins. So he got the full NFL experience. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I'm going to sit down a little bit before the game. But today I'm going to check out the cheerleaders that are part of the uh, Warsaw Mets. I can't wait to see uh, their moves. All right, leggings. Got my Warsaw Mets t-shirt on. Looks good. Ah, I got my hat. That's good because I don't think I have a great hair day today. Mm, logo, repping the team. I am ready. Oh, my Adidas. Okay. It's game time. It's game time. <laughs> you did good. It is game time. It's Sunday. 
the perfect day for football. Football is the day on Sundays in America, so we're going to a game. We maybe should stop in Javka and get something for the game. Nah, let's go. We, I think that they have uh, some tailgating people there, some people soaking, which is my favorite. It's You don't shoot a football. Throw? You throw a football, yes. Oh, my spiral is, needs some work. When you grab the ball, you want to have your hand on the laces. That helps you have a better grip for your throw. It's time, game time. Yeah, it's almost game time. Unfortunately, because I am slow in the morning on Sundays, we're going to be a little bit late to the game. We might miss the kickoff. Sorry. Oh, I can hear it. Wow. Food trucks, everything. They're trying to do this right. Good. Let's go, let's go, team. <laughs> Okay, so we have to find a seat. <laughs> We're here a little late. The crowd's already going. Okay, the teams are lined up. The Warsaw Eagles are wearing the Denver Broncos colors and the Warsaw Mets wear the Kansas City team colors. Actually, those are my high school colors too, the maroon and gold. Okay, so this is Peyton Manning. And that is him. He is one of the most epic quarterbacks in the game. Denver Broncos. Favre. There we go. Green Bay Packers in the house. How many of these jerseys am I going to be able to catch at the game today? Even the little girl is sporting a Green Bay Packers hat. That's Brett Favre. Number four. He's also epic. Quarterback. Come on. Yeah. Oh, it is so close. They're gonna kick. That's the jersey we just saw. Got a Tim Tebow fan here in Warsaw.
two questions for you. Who do you want to win today? Of course, Mets. Mets, yes. Yeah, of okay. course, Mets. Mets, Mets. Okay, second question. Who is your favorite NFL team? My favorite NFL team is Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, yes. All right. I like that. I like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Limonada. I'm sorry. Limonada. <laughs> What an exciting game. Almost a touchdown at the end, but the Warsaw Mets got the win. Hey. Thank you. We're still alive in the playoffs, so yes, yes. So that's why the celebrations, everybody's super excited. Everything's going really good. So yeah, it was winner, it was winner go home. Okay. It was winner go home. Honestly. We did what you had to do. We did what we had to do. So we, we, we controlled the city, 2 0 on Warsaw, so you know what I mean? So we, we played them in the first game back in March, and we beat them 27-20. So also a close game in that game as well. So all the hard work is paid, and I was coming full circle now. So exactly. from being a player to not being the coach and like mm -hmm. helping trying to change, build the culture out here is really, yeah. it's really paid it's off. It's really made a difference. I had to keep my eye on the cheerleaders. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, for sure. For sure. It's hard not to. My Jill days. Yeah, I know. I know. I will not hate on those girls at all. They're doing their thing. For sure. Yeah. Give them a little something. You, can help, you know you got some stuff. You can teach them a little something. They don't got the secret sauce though. They don't got the secret sauce. Yeah, give them a little secret sauce. That is for sure. It's a beautiful thing though. It's good to see like the culture really like being building where you can you can feel the rivalry, where you can feel the tension. Where it's like, hey, it's like I'm supporting this team, you support that team, and you know what I mean. We're going at it, so yes, it's it's good to start to build that build that culture here. You know what I mean, it's important. But thank you guys for coming out and supporting. So I'm super happy that you guys came out and you know what I mean, just supported us and yeah, was out here. Yeah. It's important that we come together as a city and. and Mm. Especially foreigners and come together and support each other. That's a big thing. Thank you for coming. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck. You, Thank you, bro. Get more exciting action American football in Poland. Catch the games online, streaming on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, and he turns with the foot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good try at the Heisman. Okay. Right. You gotta put your phone down. The same place here, and the uh, holding here. Yeah. He goes there. Log on the front. This. Extra work and to do the Heisman. Speak to my hand. <laughs> it's a little bit behind. He's pushing off the. The defenders, yes. There you go. That's the Heisman. Good to see you there. Uh huh. Not all of them. <laughs> Not all of high. <laughs> now you scored. Yes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's even better than Gronk. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Fall back. So hit them. Oh, close! There you go. There you go. My eyes. Here we go. 
very much. Let's go home. <laughs> okay. was an amazing Sunday and an amazing Sunday of football American football right here in Warsaw yes you can experience American football right in Poland I have always been a huge fan and a cheerleader as I showed you in the video so it's exciting for me to get to see the games this game was super exciting Warsaw Mets versus Warsaw Eagles. It was a derby and it came down to the last few moments, but the Warsaw Mets got the win 13-7. So they are moving on through to the playoffs. So that means there are some more games coming up. In June, you can see the Warsaw Mets play at home at the Polonia Stadium. So come out and check it out. Get an experience with American football. We have a really famous football movie in the US called Any Given Sunday. And there's a quote from it that I remember. On any given Sunday, you can win or lose, but it matters if you win or lose like a man. So that movie is a great one. Check it out. It's got Al Pacino and Jamie Foxx. Uh, I think you'll like it. Thank you for checking out this video. I appreciate that you watched my channel, Tam i Nazad, with my experiences in Poland. I will make some more videos, so you gotta subscribe and follow me and check out the adventures to come. Bardzo dziękuję, and I'll see you in the next video. Do widzenia!